Jemima. Hi, Trini. How are you? I'm very well. Can you imagine what we're doing today? Something to do with colours. It is called Opposites Attract. And we talk a lot about dressing like a Crayola. We talk a lot about the colour wheel, which I feel it takes a bit of confidence to do opposite colours. And we can be totally correct in that colour wheel. Like this is definitely, they are opposite sides of the colour wheel. And it's a way that you can understand how clash works. So you choose a colour that suits you most and put that at the top. So when you're doing colour clashing, the, the secondary colour, you might think, would I do a full face of that? Not my best shade, is it? You know, if it was like that, I could literally just have the makeup I've got on now. You know, it's, it's enhancing my skin tone mm -hmm. and everything. But as soon as I put the jacket on, there's a bit of a greenery come at the frog coming into play and it takes from my skin tone. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna need to tweak it. You know, so I don't actually have this color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Millie lip cheek with a bit of Mia and put them together and create a color. And literally kind of matching the neon of the shirt. So I'm bringing the pink back into my outfit and then I'm just going to tap those on there and just blend that all in. So I really buff up my cheek and I'm really bringing the pinkiness. I'm even gonna put the last bit on my forehead like that. And then I'm gonna take the tiny bit and put it on my eye. And it just allows that Kermit the Frog not to wear me. <laughs> I did think to myself, could I bring a bit more pink into the outfit? So close up are those colors identical? They're both a neon pink. One is a sort of going towards salmon and one is cool, cool. That outfit so brings me joy. And yeah. the colors are both very strong. So is that why they work together? Well, they work together because if we looked at the color wheel, pink and green are opposite. The more opposite the colors are, the better. Okay. I mean, I love that. And I've never worn this together. And you know what it does? It gives you that new inspiration to your wardrobe. So Let's look at a few other times that I have done this, where we've done that real opposites attract, and I'll also throw in some other outfits. Let's look at what colour this is. I would say it sits around here, and then I go in a sort of triangle across. Its, it's best contrasting colour would be that soft orange. <laughs> I found a colour. Oh yes. You see? There we go. Colour's fab. It's kind of great, you know, it's like you don't expect it and you don't think about putting together, but it's just challenge yourself because that gives the suit a whole new lease of life. Yeah, nice. Okay. This Lucy is one of my favourite contrasting looks. A true red, a tiny bit blue, but true. And I've got on it this sort of turquoise blouse. There's a few things here that I think are crucial when you do this kind of look. If I tucked both bits in, all right, you see fully this contrast. I want there to be a relationship vertically and horizontally of the blue and the red together. So you're blending that blue down? I'm blending the blue down and then I'm doing a little earring that brings it together and then i did think i might do a little bit of mama gorgeous so easy That's really nice. i love the way i'm picking up the red again in my face very good for mid-tones lemon yellow is this shade there's no warmth or coolness in it it's just lemons with that i like clear strong colors like the strong fuchsia if you wanted a color that was near it um i might do it with a sort of Slut, sort of clean green. I would do this also with grey, but I might do it with charcoal as opposed to, actually I would do it with dove grey. I love it with dove grey. I'm just gonna actually do that right now. This is kind of nice, just that moment. Just look at the top half for a second. Yeah. All right, but for some reason, I like this color maybe with neon, but I like charcoal gray with lemon. And I think it's because I just want a little bit more contrast mm. in the color. You could do it with black, but I think a dark gray would be so much more elegant than doing it with black. Yeah. That old mango friend might do well, because <laughs> I want to make this wintery. So I might just put that on top like that. Gorgeous. Topping and tailing with the Pookie and the, the trouser old Zara. This is an old top from Jigsaw. Um, this is mango. Beautiful. Okay. So this is a combination I love wearing, which is lilac and pastel yellow. It's really soft and pretty together. You could do a bright pink, but I just think if you see the tones of this, they are equal. And that's a trick sometimes is whether you go for shocking contrast, the tone should be the same. The depth of the amount of color in that Outfit. These are high-waisted Zara jeans, which I adore. 
um, as long as I keep my tummy in, because days when I bloat, it shows. And then um, Russell Mori trainers, Zara top. Blank canvas, I put some base on, but it's very bright and you kind of, you see us equally, but you nearly see the outfit first. I'm gonna take Pia, which is like the brightness of that, but I'm going to do it on my cheeks mainly because sometimes we make the mistake when we've got a very bright color of then putting that bright color on our lip. And in some instances it looks fab, but with these shades, if I put the pink lip on of my top, it might look a bit matchy matchy. But if I put that color on my cheeks, it just brings me back into focus. And then I'll yes. take the tiny last bit and put it there. So there's a hint, but I'll add on top a bit of dye dough just to give more, like this is a homage to the shimmer of the green. So let's show you the full outfit. There we go. I feel like the disco queen, but I love it. It brings me joy. It casualizes. I'm wearing it with a white trainer. So it sort of casualizes the concept of a sequin suit. And then I can throw, I could throw on a scarf and just really dress it down, dress it down, dress it down. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. And bringing the cuffs out of the jacket sleeve as well. If it's like that, it's like bright color with suit. And this brings it to my trouser level where it introduces the brightness down there. And where's it all from? Essentials Antwerp, and this is reserved. Next one. Okay. This just shows you how a tweak can change everything, Lucy, because this blue is the icy blue shirt. So yeah. the color I'm wearing with it is a very cool fuchsia magenta. I love this look. It's amazing how your hairs, it changes color. Your clothes change so much. Lots of women talk about, I've gone gray now, what do I wear? It has such an impact. Yeah. But that's just a really easy, great blue magenta outfit. <laughs> orange and fuchsia. Dirty orange and dirty fuchsia. That's the key here. We've gone dirty. I like that together. And I put the orange shoes. I just don't mind that it's matchy matchy. It's in a way about block and then pattern. Funnily enough, the other color you can wear with these colors is that um, turquoise. So I just like that bit in there. The, the nice thing too is when you've got total block is to bring your pattern, you know, into your accessories where it will then bring everything together. That does have the orange in it. Okay, by the way, the skirt is Zara. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And the top is Zara too. A little bag, like it's a beach bag. But mm -hmm. I like the idea of the orange pattern. Yeah. And the other one is a really classic Chanel clutch. And I think it is much more about gold because they're dirtier shades. It's not that kind of clean, cool. That's yeah. really nice. Okay. Green and purple can be exquisite together. And this is about color blocking where you're taking an equal strength of color. You know, that one is not lighter than the other. They're just totally different colors that happen to look great together. So I wouldn't feel if the top was much darker that I'd want to maybe put on the darker coat over the lighter trousers, because that's just me. So with this, I'm gonna take my old Zara coat. This is something I rescued from Lila eight years ago, three jumpers from Celine and they all started to disappear from my cupboard and I found this one in her cupboard. So that's why I've never worn this jumper before. I mean, that to me is joyful. Another contrasting story, Lucy. I do need a bright lip or some good jewelry. I could either do an earring to bring the color up again, like that, and keep everything neutral. The brightness of the blue at my ear is my best blue shade and it just makes everything wearable. My alternative would have been to put on Pookie. So I'm gonna cover the earrings and put on Pookie, which is just about the shade of the trousers. Like that, I think it works well. Now it's beginning to slightly fight with the earring. It's too many colors around my face. How many colors is too many colors? Well, when you begin to think, do you see the eyes first or do you see everything else around it? Or I do something really neutral, like a wash of Emily, which gives color but it doesn't totally fight. I love it with the earring, Lucy. Yeah, that blue you know? is stunning. Yeah, and I think those colors together work really well. I'm ready to go and do some damage in this, I'll tell you. I'm just showing you orange and cobalt blue, and I'm <coughs> amping up with Shasha to do that contrast. It can work quite nicely on certain shades, so I love that. But this is about cobalt and orange. You know, the orange with the turquoise worked well, and this is a slightly dirtier orange coat and that's why to me the colba which is a darker shade and not so brighty light works yeah. well when you start to put these clothes together in your wardrobe lucy they feel more modern and cleaner you know and yes. sometimes just by putting these contrasting shades it gives a real new life to your clothes 
I might do an orange bag because I feel this is a blocky moment. Yeah. So I do like that continuation of the orange um, as one piece. On the flip of that, would you do a blue bag? Oh. I would not hesitate to do that. I want it to be cold so I can wear this outfit now. I love the idea of fuchsia and sort of what I call, I don't know what I'd call this color, apple green on steroids, okay? Yeah. Um, and I think that the ends are the right place. I've got my crop trousers, but I have my shoes on. The suit is a really old Zara. I can't put the sleeves in, so a gilet. But that allows those sleeves to go, hey, hey, and then it's quite nice over the trousers. Yeah. And it's a permanent outfit. So clever. Yeah. And I think, what else would I wear with it? Oh my God. I could bring the color to the trousers. It brings the outfit together because it brings it to the bottom part of the trousers. Perfect. Works? Works. <laughs> Walk out the door on this one. That for me, I, I love that look. And it's, would I have the balls to wear that during the day? And I think I might. Yeah. Just like that. It just has such lovely movement. And then I was toying. Um, it's just a bit too much, but I sort of love it with with doing the Mew Mew. Yeah. You know? Oh, I love that. It's kind of just that ear, that has got the pinks in it. Yeah. I like how you wear it. the pink at the bottom, so then you can just do whatever you want on the top. Yeah, exactly. But these are two quite clear colours. They are. That clear lemon yellow and the clear bright pink. Mm. Yeah, I love this, actually. They work so well. I want to wear this. You could so wear that in the day. Yeah, I could wear this in the day. So going on that colour wheel concept, Jemima, we're now in the sort of yellow-purple colour wheel. And there's obviously many different purples and many different yellows. So you've got to think which colour you suit. Because I sit in what I call neutral. You can probably wear the, the biggest range of colours. I can wear a slightly dirtier purple and yellow, and I can wear a really cool purple and yellow. This is a sort of, it's a neutral slash slightly dirty purple. The yellow is definitely more of a faded daffodil mm -hmm. than, a, than a lemon. Yeah. And so for that with my makeup, I can't do really cool colors. I've got to do slightly warm colors, so I'm wearing Katinka Lip Love. Oh, lovely. Do you see? And if I had yeah. a really cool pink or something, it, it just wouldn't sit well. So always think about that and think about how cool, neutral, or warm is that you're, what you're wearing here. If you do match to me on Trinity London and you put in your skin, hair and eye, it would tell you which colours you suit you in our makeup, which is a kind of good reference for you to realise what colours translate to clothing, because it would be the same. The pink you suit as a lip is the pink you should wear on your body. And where's this outfit from, Trinity? So this is Vampire's Wife, which I got in sample sale for, I think, 75 and these are some Victoria Beckham trousers and we're gonna do in the next few weeks what we do to change things to make them ageless in our wardrobe and I did this with these trousers they were a longer flare but the flare broke on I could never find the right heel to wear it you know yeah. when you've got trousers to wear and you think what heel do I yeah. wear and then you have to wear a heel and you have to wear a heel and I didn't want to wear a heel so I cropped them to a really good ankle crop or mm -hmm. Susanna crop them and it just enables me to then to wear the Russell Bobby trainer, which I actually happen to get very matching yellow. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that works. And would you do other yellows with this purple? Could I do a neon with this? I could do a neon, mm -hmm. but it's a bit dirty, the purple, and this is very cool yellow, so I'm gonna show you an alternative. So for this, I don't want to be too warm, and I had on Katinka before, so I'm just toning that down, and I'm gonna put on a little bit of, you don't know how many times I have to do this on closet conventions. I'm gonna tone down my cheeks so we get to a neutral thing. I've got a brown eye makeup on, which I'm just going to keep. End up where I started, Millie there, Millie there, and Millie on the forehead, and then I might just take a little bit of neutral Katie Sheer Shimmer, because there's something about that colour that brings into play a lilac. So here we are. That's, to me, that feeling of that kind of cooler yellow with what I call lilac rather than dirty purple. And I think those tones go well together, and probably with it I would do silver accessories, not gold. Whereas with the other outfit, I could have gone for gold accessories. Okay. I love that. Shall we now talk about what we're going to do next week? Yeah, let's talk. Come on, Jemima. <laughs> September's coming around the corner. Yeah, I can't believe it. I know, I really can't believe it either. I've got a Susanna 
coming in. So I thought we could get her to look at some things and think, what can you do with stuff in your wardrobe? And think cleverly about it. There is secondhand September, which I'm going to be embracing, still hoping I'm not going to be shopping till the 1st of October. And so as a result, not yet talking about trends. I do know that in September we start to talk about trends. Yes. But I sort of want to save that for halfway through September because yeah, then so I'll nice go buy. Yeah, it's so nice wardrobe, isn't it? It's, and like, I'm excited to see what Asusana does. Yeah, I, I mean, I just, sometimes we feel our wardrobe is really boring and we just want something new to infuse in it. So we're going to talk about dyeing clothes and things like that because that gives, you know, when you change the color of something, you really make it a new mm. piece. So let's see what we can get up to with that. Yes. Um, obviously, any ideas you have, going into your some frustrations you have in your wardrobe, what you're thinking you'd like to do, leave it in the comments below and we will include it over the next few months. Bye. Bye.